Hey, 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 good morning, YouTube. We've got something really special for you today. This is something I've been waiting to do for a long time. A little bit of a surprise here. Stay tuned for this one. guys i have been wanting for a very long time to get my hands on some ballistic gel and start doing some tests or at least shooting some broadheads different arrow combinations through it to see on i don't know let's see what the penetration does like because you always hear all these things out there like oh heavier arrows will penetrate better uh lighter arrows don't penetrate as much or lighter arrows are just as good or lighter arrows with heavier front of center they're better a lot of things are out there so I'm gonna start doing my own testing on this. So today we have several different arrows we have set up for us that we're gonna be shooting. Uh, each one ranges from different ranges of, of weight and also front of center. We're gonna be starting, we got arrows that are down the 418 grains all the way up to 618 grains today. All shooting the same broadhead, which is the which is the Montec M3. We'll be shoot, each arrow will be shooting those. And uh, just kind of testing out some of these theories. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So we're going to be starting off with the lightest arrow that I have, and we're going to follow up with the heaviest arrow. So the first arrow we're going to go with is the Carbon Express Maxima Red Badlands Edition 350 spine, cut to about 30 inches, 100, 100 grains of uh, point weight. You got an FOC close to about 8%, a little bit less than that 10% mark that a lot of people try to get to, while some people call more of a balanced arrow. However, We'll be flinging it and my bow shoots at about 300 feet per second which gives it some a kinetic energy of about 84.32 foot pounds and momentum of 0 0.562 slugs let's see how it does in the gel all right so we just got done shooting that arrow and it performed a little better than i thought it was going to it actually made it through the gel pretty good uh, didn't fully penetrate through the gel, but we got some pretty decent penetration on it. So we'll go check this out and take a look. See, that's actually pretty decent uh, penetration out of that. It kind of surprised me. I wasn't really expecting that much out of it. All right, so that's the lightest arrow. Let's shoot the heaviest arrow. My hypothesis, what I believe from what I've seen in my experience, is that the heavier arrow is going to penetrate a little bit better than what the uh, lighter arrow did, especially at 20 yards. I think you will notice that if we move back further, you'll start to see the bigger differences here in how the arrows are penetrated because the heavier arrow is gonna retain its energy and that's both momentum and kinetic energy further down range than what the, the what a lighter arrow will do. But let's check it out, see what it does here at 20 yards. All right, that <laughs> turned out to be a little bit more difficult than I expected it to be. Uh, I end up hitting the original arrow on my first shot. So I had to come back and try it again. So here we go. We'll take a look, see here on how this goes. So there it is. It barely, barely over penetrated the other arrow barely I say maybe I don't know on if uh, I don't know if I even say an inch I mean, it's clear that it penetrated better uh, both times it hit the gel 
um, it did penetrate about this amount so will you say it penetrates better yeah I guess you could say that uh, this one does come out of my bow a lot slower at 618 grains this one comes out at about 250 some feet per second uh, its KE is higher uh, slightly slightly higher and it does have a noticeable difference in its momentum of 0.6 it's up to the 0.6 something in uh, slugs in its momentum so uh, uh, there you go that's that's kind of shocking I really was expecting it to perform a little bit better than that but uh, eh, here we go keep going all right, so coming up next is going to be a Easton Full Metal Jacket. It's their T64. That's the one that, that tapered from the 6mm down to the 4mm. It's supposed to give a little bit more weight uh, front of center FOC. This one again at 514 grains, 100 grain weight up front, ends up landing somewhere around the 11 to 12 percent FOC. It's not the highest FOC that I have in my arrows, which is the last one I'll be shooting. It comes out at uh, about 500, uh, it, 514 grains. My bow shoots at about 274 feet per second at the muzzle, and that gives it about 80, 85.7 foot-pounds of kinetic energy and 0.625 slugs of momentum. So, let's see how this one does. All right, so we just shot the 514 grain arrow. And here it is it's probably pretty comparable maybe a little bit more because of the angle that's going in a little bit more than the wider arrow I mean so far the 618 grain arrow is the one that's penetrated the furthest but it's not as eye-opening as I figured it was going to be I mean it's, it's still all relatively pretty close so We'll just go from there. All right, last but not least is going to be the arrow I'm hunting with this year. Uh, it's the Gold Tip Air Strike. It is a 530 grain arrow with the highest FOC that I have is approaching 14% FOC. Uh, once again, 100 grain head up front. I'm using their stainless steel inserts. This arrow is about 29 and a half inches. Uh, they give it about 30 inches overall by the time you well, actually a little bit more than 30 inches, 30 probably approach to 31 inches by the time you get the insert and the and everything uh, uh, associated with it, the broadhead and everything is uh, on it. So here it is, last arrow for the day. We'll see how it does. All right, so here we are. Test is done. And uh, some surprising results. I wasn't really expecting this to turn out the way that it did. Um, I gotta say, I'm, I, I, my hypothesis held true. It just wasn't as dynamic as I thought it would be. So the heavy arrows, uh, from first glance here, does appear that they penetrated better. The last arrow that I shot uh, is somewhere in between the lightest and the heaviest, uh, pushing more towards the heaviest arrow uh, penetration. So it's an interesting test that we did here, and I I would like to see it. I like to see a little bit more dynamic of a difference, like. A few inches difference in penetration versus what we did so what we're going to do is I'm going to wrap some tape around the arrow shaft closest to the gel take them out measure them and then uh, we'll get the final results and uh, here at the end stay tuned Just so you can see, there's no trickery. This is the Easton FMJ T64. It was the 514 grain arrow, and it penetrated right about 12 inches. Give or take, it's really close, but we're gonna give it 12 inches of penetration. Not bad. All right. This is the Carbon Express Maxima Red. Once again, the results are 
not really what I was expecting them to be. Uh, there was about a hundred grains difference between the FMJ and this and the Carbon Express. Um, but penetration wise, they both penetrated right around 12 inches. And to be honest, I think the Maxima Red got just a hair more penetration than what the FMJ did. A hair more. Like I'm talking like a sixteenth of an inch. Not much. And that's honestly I think for this this is negligible. So they're right around 12 inches. Alright, up next is Gold Tip Airstrike. This one penetrated a little bit better than the other two. Uh, this one came in it, like I said, it wasn't drastic, but it is measurable and it is noticeable. It's about 12 and a quarter, maybe pushing more 12 and 12 and well, two eighths is a quarter. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna give it about 12 and a quarter, a little hair more than 12 and a quarter inches of, of penetration. So there is a slight penetration advantage with the heavier arrow at 20 yards. All right, so here's the heaviest arrow that I shot. It was 618 grains. Uh, once again, it is the arrow that penetrated the furthest. It penetrated right at that 12 and a half inches. 12 and a half inches of penetration. So it's not a huge difference, but it is measurable and it is noticeable. All right, everyone, that's gonna conclude the test. Really. I had some shocking results and at bow hunting distances for whitetail, I'm not really sure if I'm ready to jump on the bandwagon and say that heavier arrows are necessarily better. As you see with the results, we have a test medium that is consistent. That's why ballistic gel is used. I know I'm 100% aware of the fact that flesh, living flesh is going to react differently. These are not encountering bone. I understand that fully. The thing to keep in mind that this is a consistent test medium. This allows us to see what the actual penetration potential for each arrow is on a given reliable standard. From my experience to what I'm seeing here, heavier arrows do have a penetration advantage. However, I will not say it is as drastic as I would assume it to be, and I think a lot of other people assume it to be at close distance. There are a lot of other videos out there for you guys to watch. Uh, the Hunting Public teamed up with the Ranch Ferry, and they have a really good video that just came out not too long ago in regards to uh, retained energy uh, at distance, such as 60 yards. I believe penetration potential is going to be held longer by the heavier arrows than what the lighter arrows will at distance so if you are a tree stand hunter 20 30 yards in maybe it doesn't matter maybe it's not as huge of a difference for you if you're shooting 40 50 60 yards at game western hunters open fields for some white tails you may want to start looking at a heavier arrow you're losing speed but you're gaining penetration potential which is, which is more important when the arrow encounters resistance. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you found it informative. I hope you at least start to look into things on your own to develop what you think is gonna be the best system for you. I had a lot of fun making this one. This is definitely, definitely one of my favorite videos. Uh, something I've been dying to do for a very long time. Stay tuned for upcoming video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Give us a thumbs up if you like it, or if you didn't like it, you can give us a thumbs down. Leave your comments in the bottom. I, I or Josh or Sammy respond to them as, much, as quickly as we can. Check us out on Instagram and also on Facebook. But until the next one, as always, stay safe out there and God bless you guys.